Hi, my name is Liza. Welcome to my humble abode. I am a filmmaker and storyteller here in Brooklyn, New York, and I enjoy telling stories about people who inspire me. And recently I met this really cool artist from California who likes to spend his time making people laugh and smile through creating art using his fingers and his lungs. His name is Adi, and this is my story. You know, people, someone once said to me, you're like the balloon twisting Andy Warhol, and I was like, please, no I'm not. I, I, I'm like, compare me to like a good cabinet maker. I, that'd be way more meaningful than Andy Warhol, who was like a fraud. I mean, he came up with a shtick, and people bought the shtick, and he cranked it out. And that's okay if you're a marketing guru, but to say you're an artist, you know, I, I, I just say I'm a balloon twister. I just say I'm a balloon twister. self-hating balloon twister. I'm a little embarrassed to admit it now, but I was at the time. I just thought, you know, if I could have picked my top 50 talents that I wish I had, balloon twister would never have been in the top 500. I'm making something for you. This is for you. The turning point for me was, there was a couple turning points. One was, when I was doing really fancy corporate parties and also twisting balloons, volunteering at homeless shelters for abused kids and wives. And then I realized that the super rich and the super poor were laughing at the same thing in the same way. That was a kind of a turning point for me where I realized, like, you know what, this isn't some shallow thing to be embarrassed by. There's, it's actually kind of deep. <laughs> I could make a lot of money twisting balloons for really wealthy kids from wealthy families. It's not particularly fun because they're such spoiled brats that it's, you know, they complain, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, it gives you an earache after a while. Now, if you twist balloons for kids who don't have anything, they're so stoked that they're like about to explode out of like their skull. They're like, ah, oh, they start screaming. And you, that happiness is a genuine, uh, expression and if you make someone happy then that happiness bounces off them back to you that's the happiest I think I've ever been is when I'm making someone else happy oh. no it's not just for kids in fact what I specialize in is making balloons for adults because kids you know you could be drunk and make the sloppiest balloon ever. You're gonna be a balloon twister for 20 minutes and that kid would be happy just because it's colorful and inflated. But for adults, you have to make something that's classy, that is uh, sophisticated. Unless they're drunk, then you could just give them whatever. If you're trying to make a real living from it, you need to entertain adults. You need to make something that's that great. they say, I want to wear that because that makes me look hip. Oh, that's tremendous. You'll have to tell me what it looks like. <laughs> We will there show you. There we go. Oh my oh, gosh. Good. How's that? Here, let take a look. Oh, that's great. Hi, <laughs> uh, Antonio, what do you think? You like it? Come in. You like it, right? Make sure you stir the sauce. Uh, it's all about working quickly. I have a styrofoam head at home, and I make hats for this head all the time. New hats, and then I take pictures of the hat so I remember. This hat, this styrofoam head is like, I've had her longer than any girlfriend I've ever had combined, I think. I love it, I think it's great. I, I think these, this is fantastic. You guys just made my day. Just make whatever you want to make looking at me. Okay. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm very excited. Are you kidding? Can I measure your hand? No, no. I know. 
Why are you doing I have a big scared. head. Are you so it's like a guitar player playing that scales. You have amazing. to just do it over and over and over and over and over again. It seems like dreadful and totally unglamorous, but what happens is you commit it to muscle memory, and then you don't have to think about it anymore. It, all of a sudden, you start doing stuff that you never even thought of doing. It just kind of comes out of you. You genius. After a while, I get so dizzy that it just, I'm just kind of in another zone. It just, it just happens. So. Are you impressed? Very much so. So are you? It's not fun with us. The balloon twisting file cabinet in my head is, is, it's just there. I don't know. I've never really, I've never gone into like hypnotherapy or try to go into the file cabinet and see what's really in there. All I know is that I don't remember where I put my keys 20 minutes ago, but I remember some hat that I made eight years ago. Oh my God! <laughs> I would say I love what I do and I feel very fortunate to have uh, the fingers to do it and the wave of inspiration that happened. Oh wow. <laughs> You're the cool man. Did you like that? That is super cool though. Bye. Bye. <laughs>